This video will be discussing how to link Studio OP with EPS for a more comprehensive open pit scheduling system. In order to link Studio OP with EPS, you need to have designed a scheduling dataset on Studio OP, which includes the mining block solids, the mining block outlines, the reserves file, and dependencies which are optional. Once the dataset is loaded on the schedule ribbon on Studio OP, it is compulsory to create a mining schedule as well as a scheduling calendar before you can attempt to link Studio OP and EPS together. Once all is set up, you have the option to export to EPS or to synchronize with EPS. The export function creates an EXF file that can be loaded onto EPS on another workstation. With the synchronization approach, EPS must be installed on the same workstation as Studio OP. The Sync Studio OP and EPS form is displayed when the user clicks the Synchronize button in Studio OP. With this form, you have the following options. To use a pre-existing EPS template for new schedules. The category grid allows users find control over how data is pushed to EPS. The do not export option means that the data from this category is not sent to EPS. The do not update option means that the data from this category will not update existing records in EPS. The always update option means that the corresponding data in EPS will always be overwritten by Studio OP data. And the mark as external option means that the corresponding data in EPS will be marked as external, meaning that the EPS user cannot delete these records. The road network tab of the synchronized form allows you to complete the haulage network in Studio OP for use in EPS and store it in data tables in the Studio OP project files. Once you have sent data from Studio OP to EPS, you can link the mining block so that you use Studio OP's 3D window for 3D visualization. You do this by right-clicking on the mining blocks on the Sheets window on Studio OP, selecting the Link to EPS option, and then Link by the Block ID field. If you now proceed to the EPS ribbon on Studio OP and click on Refresh, the two will be linked and you can visualize the data on Studio OP. To test if the link worked, I can select blocks on Studio OP and they will be highlighted in black on EPS and vice versa. It is possible to define all the schedule setup in Studio OP and export it to EPS or choose to define all the schedule setup in EPS. If you choose to set up completely on Studio OP and export to EPS, this is how the setup will be mapped on EPS. The material categories of the mining blocks will be found on the material categories page of the project settings on EPS. The calendars that you define under the time periods on Studio OP, which happens to be one of the minimum requirements for the linking, can be found under the reporting calendar on the project settings on EPS. The mine and maintenance calendars defined on Studio OP can be found on the scheduling calendar on the project settings on EPS. The mine calendar you can set as your schedule calendar, while the maintenance calendar can be set as a resource calendar. The destinations defined on Studio OP are mapped on the destinations page on the project settings on EPS. Machines defined on Studio OP can be found on the cross tab or resource bar chart on EPS. The machine types, such as the loader, the drill, are mapped as summary resources and used as a generic resource that can be replaced by any of the specific resources. The standard and global targets can be found on the summary fields on EPS. Accumulated fields on Studio OP are treated as non-weighted production fields on EPS. 
The weighted fields on Studio OP are treated as weighted production fields on EPS, while copied fields on Studio OP are treated as text fields on EPS. Mining blocks are represented as tasks on the task table. Any activities defined on Studio OP are transferred to EPS with the task ID and name fields generated by joining the block ID of the task and the activity name. The order defined in the process flow on Studio OP is enforced by dependencies between the tasks representing the blocks. Lastly, any schedule done on Studio OP is transferred to EPS and the relationship between the blocks can be seen on the Gantt chart area by means of lines which represent links. Any remaining portion of a task that has not been scheduled in Studio OP will be moved to the last period of the reporting calendar.